Hello and today we will put forward two pretty cool things we saw at the EPG trade fair and yes I know I'm a bit biased because of my love for video and nice imagery but I think you will probably find this report not only interesting but also quite spectacular well at least I did actually felt like a little kid in a candy store with this So can you explain us a little bit the technology that you're presenting here at this EPHG? Yes, uh, well, um, we are Hyrox, uh, the inventor of video microscopy, and uh, we have the latest 3D digital microscope to look at watches from a different perspective. Instead of having a traditional uh, 2D view with uh, simple measurements, we have the whole uh, range of magnification as well as a special feature that I will show you, which is uh, 3D rotary heads uh, enabling 360 degree rotation around an object to look, for example, inside a movement. Uh, the goal is to find the point of interest and really focus on it. If it's for uh, quality control or for research and development, uh, for different material, for different parts, um, yeah, we, it's, it's a very overall product for the entire inspection and measurement system. And initially, for what uh, industry was this uh, technology developed? Well, um, Hyrox started uh, in 1985 uh, to produce uh, optics for uh, video microscopy, so to look at an object bigger on a screen. And uh, our first customer was very, were very much in a um, semiconductor technology uh, as well as microelectronics. Uh, we sold many systems to uh, Apple computers or Nokia, Intel, uh, and so on. Well, now let's have fun and let's go for a demo. Okay. So um, right now we, we put uh, a lens with a magnification from 20 up to 160 times. Uh, we have the possibility to tilt the, the level of inspection and on top of tilting the stands we have a system of uh, rotational mirror as I was explaining before um, which allows uh, a motorized rotation to look at, at hidden places. For example right now we can see inside the movements and uh, look at uh, specific details that are usually very hard to reach. Right now we could see uh, a little um, uh, impurity uh, inside the, the, the movements. Uh, this is something that we can document. I can at any time uh, just freeze the image, uh, zoom onto the, the surface, uh, click to uh, a specific location and here for example we have a 33 micron. This I can capture it um, and then I can uh, maybe look at the same object uh, with different angle or different magnification. All the optics are calibrated so you always see the, the, the correct scale and you can also use this uh, to, to uh, use your, uh, to do any kind of measurements. <laughs> Here we have a controller that has, um, allows wireless uh, movement and control of the motorized X, Y and Z table. Um, I can then uh, look at a different space and we have a completely new way to look at, uh, at a movement in this case but this can be done also for any specific part of the, of the watch. In this case it really creates a three-dimensional effect. It's mm -hmm. like uh, flying inside the movements which is uh, very unique and we are not sure what it is. Is it on top of a surface? Is it inside a surface? Yeah. When you start rotating you can clearly see that it's uh, uh, this one is actually a scratch. Uh, you can see a scratch and you can see some material moving up and down on both sides. Right now we are using a diffuser adapter uh, with a straight view. So you see we have completely different view. It's very two-dimensional, very flat. And now the system combines all the single steps to generate one image where everything is in focus. Mm -hmm. This is a, a common problem when you are in high magnification. Mm -hmm. You only have a small depth of field. Now everything is in focus and then I can just open here in a 3D view and then directly we can do a measurement here uh, with a profile to see, for example, the, the height of the component. So right now I'm at, I'm, uh, at a quite small magnification so um, you don't have the same level as uh, uh, if I go to 1,000 one, uh, 1, times or even 10,000 times, which is the maximum we can zoom in, up to 10,000 times, yes. So it's, it's very simple to, uh, to change the lens. That looks like a serious lens. Yes, yes <laughs> it is indeed. So I can just connect it here and then uh, mount it. Okay, now we are at uh, 700 times. 
and uh, now let's go to uh, 1,000, even 2,000 times. Now the system, uh, while it's moving, is acquiring a series of images. Here it's already done. You can open it in 3D. Here show the pseudo color, which shows the height, and you see the, the scratch. You can see the direction of the scratch, the, the material that has been stretched here, and uh, just go to the profile measurements. And here we have uh, between this level here and this level, 2.6 micron. Well, I guess unfortunately it can be perhaps sometimes embarrassing for some of the watchmakers to see uh, some well, of those treatments. I, I have to say I'm, I'm extremely impressed by the quality of uh, Swiss watches and uh, the big names have excellent, beautiful, uh, smooth surfaces. But it's a very common thing that I hear is, uh, oh, we see too many details, <laughs> we see too much. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, there is a, a trend also to um, to go to the limits of the possibilities to have uh, movements uh, and parts that are so perfect that uh, th there is you can use it for 200 years, 500 years, and, and you know that with this level of quality, it's really a long-lasting in investment. We work also with Formula One, with aerospace, uh, and we are definitely in the same level of, uh, of uh, research for the perfection, which I really appreciate. In oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Yes, Excellent. very impressive. So I think I'm going to go for the ultimate test with uh, okay. a little yeah. baby here. Wow. so well made. I mean, you really feel that. Yeah. You've been doing this for quite a while. I yes, mean, it yes, feels yes. pretty mature. <laughs>